This room right now is historic. You guys represent Philly royalty. Donovan, you were an outlier. Mike, you were an outlier. They're saying all these things about you can't get it done, you can't read a defense, you can't do that, but you guys defied all those odds. Yeah. Yeah. And that's exactly what you've done this season. And it's not just about being a black quarterback. Right. You know, I, I feel like I truly haven't even done anything yet. You know, I, I've had a great example in front of me to come out here and um, just kind of remain steadfast and go, you know, just attack. You know what I'm saying? I truly try and stay in the moment. But, you know, you talk about people don't like to, you know, I don't know how I want to say it. <laughs> They don't like to be wrong. They, they don't, don't want like to be to, proven wrong. They don't want to, you know, they don't want to, they don't like to be woken up. There you go. They don't like to be woken up. And, you know, you get, you know, people are trying to put you in a box or do, do stuff like that. But I've had examples in front of me for a long time, you know, and I truly feel like the, the term of a, a dual threat, a uh, pocket guy, whatever that is, I think, I think it may be a tad bit overrated. Let me add to that. I'm going to add to it because yeah. I'll say what you really want to say because yeah. I ain't afraid to say it. <laughs> <laughs> People won't, don't want to have to be put on the spot to break down what they've never been able to do. Mm -hmm. okay. And I'm going to say it loudly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you don't know how to do what we do, yeah. then you can't tell people how to do it. That's a tough job. And so, prime example, what you're doing right now is glorifying the ability to play inside, outside, read the game, see the game, answer the question. And then for those who want to be the analytical aspect of, of the coaches, you're proving that you can do it on third down. Yes. But they never want to give you the credit because it's too much for them to say, I was wrong. Yeah, nobody like to be wrong, you know, and like I said, people don't like to be woken up. When you sleep in the middle of the night, you know, somebody wake you up. Oh, you, you sleep at one hour open. You, <laughs> sleep, you, you sleep at one hour open. Going to sleep motivated. Yeah, but, I watched know, Dime go through it. I watched Donovan battle through it, so I sat back and vicariously learned from his, no, I'm going to continue to be persistent. I know, I don't know if we change the game. People come to me and say, you changed the game. I'm like, nah, it was ones before me to change the game. Right. It was all about staying true. It, it, you know, never knew, not, not knowing that it was going to pave the way for so many others. I mean, I, now I look at a white, black, and different. You just be you. You just be you. Yeah. And you can get it done, man. You got it. You got a job. Right. You know, be confident in what you're doing. And Don, like four consecutive NFC Championship games. Yeah. Like, and a Super Bowl. You a Super Bowl. You you the most accomplished quarterback in Philly history, right? And some people still don't want to give you credit for that. How did you have to deal with that, specifically being a black quarterback in Philadelphia? I never let anyone from the outside affect what I'm trying to do as far as my craft is concerned. Yep. But they want to assume everything about you. Right. And when you don't look like them, you don't sound like them, or you don't play like them, there's nothing good that you can say positive about. And so I never let that affect me. It's all about who you surround yourself with. You surround yourself with yes men, you're going to consistently make the same mistake over and over and over. No doubt. But you got to surround yourself with people that's going to be critical of you and be upfront with you and be honest. And you have to be able to take that criticism and make sure that you use that as fuel and motivation right. to be better at what you do. No I, I say this. I, I look at all of us, and I think we, we really embody it. And the quarterback position is all about being a leader, man, taking on that true leadership role um, and, and they're not – you know, deviating from what you believe in. Right. Like we, we go through so much, we see so much, we so much scrutiny. I watch y'all, y'all, y'all have fun, man. Y'all have fun. That's part of it. You know, put the work in during the week, but it don't get no better than yeah. that. And then Jalen, listen to that. You're in a whole new world. Social media, everything going on. Yeah. You might have more distractions, honestly, yeah. than some of us had back right. in our day. How have you handled not just being a quarterback in Philly, but being the black quarterback in Philly? Yeah, man. I've. Uh, yeah, I, I've I've experienced a ton of different emotions playing playing the position and playing the game, uh, whether it be at Alabama overcoming adversity there, coming out of Oklahoma, coming here as a rookie. It's been a whole a whole bunch of different experiences. It's kind of funny to me. I, I don't talk about it much, but it's kind of funny to me. You know, when people ask me about, well, I'm just so surprised you handled that situation like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like in a, <laughs> yeah, so like well. you're 30 years old. Oh, <laughs> don't even start. <laughs> 
why, why are you surprised? You right. know what I'm saying? I sit here and I think about, like, why do I play this game? Why do I work so hard? It's so many different things. It's like this little trait, like, regardless of the circumstance, I never feel like I'm out of the fight. 